Hello everyone, I proudly welcome you to another quick Microsoft Access database tutorials brought to you by Akos Datatex. My name is Akos Myla, your instructor for this tutorial. Guys, I still want to appreciate you for your tremendous support behind the growth of our channel. Thank you so much for spending time watching and sharing our videos and commenting. If you have a newbie, if you're a newcomer to this channel, I do welcome you warmly on behalf of the entire team. If you have not yet subscribed to this YouTube channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the little bell notification icon so that you won't miss any of our videos. Okay, so um, having been following, uh, you will have realized that we started a new series of videos or tutorials or lessons on um, look on how to incorporate um, modern day or the contemporary AI technologies to aid our Microsoft Access development. So we started by first looking at a video that was up uploaded about eight days ago, which which taught us uh, how to um, use ChatGPT or how to use uh, this AI to write a suitable VBA code, uh, which at the end of the day. Uh, does back up for us and even goes to the extent of storing it uh, in um, a folder. If you have not watched that video, I do recommend that you, I mean, you check in that new playlist and then watch it. Um, so this is also a second video into, uh, in, that, in that same series. So here today we are going to look at if you have a Microsoft Access database as I have right now, how would we go about or how can we set an expiry? So setting expiry is very critical and it's very crucial uh, for, I mean, for use in, I mean, for, to be, it's a very important um, technique to be adopted anytime that you are deploying a database to your client because we all do not want clients to perpetually um, be using a database without any kind of promptings, even when they have over, I mean, overrun or gone beyond their, um, their agreed duration. So expiry is that model. If you someone a developer that do deploys your database on renewal basis, or you do negotiate with your client to do make certain payments uh, within certain period, then setting an expiry is going to be very important because it's going to prompt your end user. Um, another another instance whereby expiry becomes very important is uh, maybe when. Um, after certain periods upon agreement, there has to be backups and then there has to be all kinds of updates also enrolled. Okay, so, well, so that is that about expiry. And I know there are several reasons why you guys would like to set up expiry dates for you. So we are going to write into ChatGPT to ask him to give us, um, so this very database that I have, which is school management database, the one that that's the same database we had used in the previous tutorial. So we are going to tell ChatGPT that, hey, after this certain dates, just what, I mean, just log the database or prompt the user that the system has expired and that it should reach out to the database developer for negotiation to be recontinued. All right, so without no much I said, subscribe and then follow me right attentively in the video. Okay, so um, I will just go into my chat GPT here. Then now, uh, what I will do here, mm -hmm. let me also expand this. So I will say, um, uh, in MS Access, give me a VBA code to be run on the, or to be run, uh, the onload events of a form of a form uh, the program should um, the, the program should set the database to expire expire after a setting a setting date prompting prompting the user to contact the database admin okay so i think this is pretty much a good message to go by so i will hit okay then here we watch chat gpt generate our code or our algorithm without any data for us okay so we patiently wait to have the code fully generated all right so you could see that uh, we, we, here we have a very simple algorithm that has been generated for us so what you do is that you copy the whole of this without the 
without a private sub form and then the NSA. All right, so we'll be going through this code, but then first let us get into our um, access pro, pro program. All right, so right here, I will open uh, FRM backup. So I would like this code or I would like the expiry to be run automatically on this form or anytime that this form uh, is loaded. So here we go to the design view of it. I will go to other sorry i'll go to events so you can see that on load there is nothing there so i click on load then i go to code builder why are we adding it to on load so we are adding it to on load so that this code will be will run automatically without i mean the developers nor the users um, i mean um, involvement so here i will paste the code here okay so now this is what we are doing so here deem we are declaring a variable then there's uh, we are assigning this value so this is the expiry date which is what 31st of this of this very month then this so if um if the current date is greater than expiry date this should actually what uh, the database has that uh optional close the database or prevent further access then do cmd quit this is a very simple expiry but then i would just like us to run this we will later on be going into charge gpt to give us a more advanced one which will rather ask us to even what i mean put in a code all right so now that we are done let us run this form so you see nothing happens so um for the sake of convenience, we are going to set this form to automatically load when a database opens. So we go to form, then, um, sorry, we go to the backstage view uh, options, current database, then display form. Our display form should be set to um, ah, FRM backup. There we go. All right, so now with this, we are very safe that anytime our database opens, because this form comes or because this form is the first one that loads the code attached to the onload event will automatically come so now here let us go again so sorry oh no so let us see what happens when the date is actually on so let's set it to uh, let's say today is 13 so let's say 12 so with this, the database should expire, and let's see what, what is going to happen. So I'll close this, then I'll open a database again. Okay, so here it said, this database has expired. Please contact the database administrator for assistance. This database has expired, so contact. So once you hit OK, the database, I mean, forcefully shut itself down. And this in itself is even good. Uh, the user will not be prompted to add any code but then it just actually goes to once it clicks okay it goes out there now we are going to make an improvement to this so ideally what needs what needs to be done is what needs to be done or enrolled in your database is that uh, the database we should be able the user should be able to have access to a code from we the developers and that they can use to unlock the database right that sounds very interesting yeah so let us go to charge gpd again and say that good this worked but i wanted to be i wanted to be able to enter password after expiry expiry three times three times if incorrect before closing database great so so this is what we've told charge GPD that hey um it worked but then i wanted to be able to enter password after expiry three times if incorrect before closing the database all right so here it is actually adding several or a lot of improvements to our database so let's see um how it's gonna actually work okay all right so now we copy it again up to and if then uh, we go back to our database okay so here let me close but then i will hold the shift key so that it will bypass that um okay so i so for you to be able to come to uh, the back end you should be out for you for you anytime that you the developer you want to skip 
um, the expiry from loading, then you have to make sure that shift key is pressed whilst you are opening the database. All right, so now let us go and then put in the, the new version of the code we have obtained. So right in here, all right, so I'll delete these guys. Then I'll put it get here. Oh uh, no, that is a problem. It should only affect this. All right, great. So what we have to do, we just need to delete this. Okay, so now here we have actually added, so the password to be used at the expiry is admin123, admin123. Now here, the most important thing is that uh, if the database has expired, then uh, we have to be running this loop. So this loop does three attempts. So if after the password has been entered in correctly for three times, then the database should, should actually lock out, which is exactly what we wanted to achieve. Yeah, so for attempt equals one to three, which is a for loop, then uh, keep prompting the user to enter password. So at whatever point that the password is correct, the database unlocks. Other than that, the database expires and then it shuts down. All right, so let's see. Uh, um, all right, so it is working. So now let us uh, set it, let us change the date to really see the effect of this model. All right, so here I will set it to 11. 11 is past date, so it's supposed to be a spot for us. Now I'll close this. Let me close this. Opening this database. All right, so now you can see this database has expired. You will need to enter the admin password to proceed. So if the user has the admin password, he enters. So let's say he enters a wrong password. Incorrect. Wrong password. Incorrect. Wrong password. Incorrect. And now the database automatically goes off. So let us enter the right password now to see. So after expiry, one, two, three, four. Uh, sorry, it's, it's supposed to be admin one, two, three. Admin one, two, three, you hit. Now access has been granted and now the user right here is able to have access. So you could see how, rele how I mean, super efficient and how um, I mean, relevant and helpful ChatGPT has just helped us to be able to address this um, problem with ease. Yes, so um, for this video, I'm going to end here. Let me see what you think about, uh, I mean, ChatGPT helping us to do this. Let me see what you think about it. And then also let me take, let me see if you have um, any other suggestions that um, uh, you think you can, uh, you, you think when actually, I mean, if you have any suggestion that you think that um, people out here in this channel, including me myself, even now when we probably add to our expiry and restricting our users during application deployment is going to really help us. Let me see what you think. All right. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. Uh, I will be coming your way or more videos will be following up. Stay tuned on the channel. Have a nice time. Bye.